Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video, we'll be looking into exploiting Metasploitable 3 with the focus on the Pro FTPP server. Now, as you're aware, uh, it's a virtual machine with, with, with a lot of vulnerability uh, into it uh, with the purpose for uh, testing security tools and demonstrating common vulnerabilities. Now, version 3 is available in both Ubuntu and Windows forms. Uh, it has even more vulnerabilities than Metasploitable 1 and 2. And this video will focus only on the Linux version of, uh, of, of the 3. Now, the first step here, I want to run the Nmap scan to show you the different options on different services that is available here. While it's running, okay, I'm gonna give you uh, an idea about the module uh, and the vulnerability in, in, uh, in the Pro FTPP. Now, now this model, uh, sorry, this module exploits the site CPFR, CPTO commands in Pro FTPP version 1.3.5. Any and authenticated client can leverage these commands to copy files from any part of the file system to a chosen destination. Now, the copy commands are executed with the rights of the Pro FTPP server, which by default runs under the privileges of the nobody user. See, by using uh, the CMD line, uh, you can copy uh, PHP payload to the website directory. So the PHP remote code execution is made possible. Now, we're gonna have it run, but I'm gonna pause this video until we get the result out because it will take some time. Okay, so uh, the scan finish, and here you could see the first one here is the core FT. PP. Okay, and this is the version of it. And here we have open SSH port 22, Apache, Samba also, MySQL, and Unreal IRCD, which was exploited and uh, it is portable too. And there's a video for it, and some other options. Now, since we got an idea about the open ports. Let's uh, clear the screen and let's start MSS console. Okay. Uh, now, uh, since we're focusing on the Pro FTPP, so we're going to do search. So here we could see. They are different exploit, and uh, we're gonna focus on the on on the excellent one. And there's a backdoor command. There is the mode copy command, the one I just ex explained to you, and the rank is excellent. So we will use use four. Okay. Now we're at. Now let's see what options comes with this module. Okay, so we have several options. We're not going to worry about the proxies, but we need to worry about the remote hosts. And here we know this is port 21. We need to look into side path. I'm going to explain it. And this is it basically. These are the most important configurations that we need to do. So we're going to do set or HOS T and the uh, Metasploitable 3 IP address will be 192.168.74.2. Okay. Now, the second option we need to set is set side path. Okay. No. For www.html. Now, what is it? 
this option specifies the path, the web root directory where the web application files are stored on the target system. It enables Metasploit modules to correctly locate and interact with the web application files on the target system. This can be crucial for exploiting, you know, by the way, the vulnerabilities in a web, app, uh, a web application and gain access to the, to the target system. Now we just keep it as is. Let's show options. I want to double check if everything done correctly. And you could see that IP is set and the size tab is set. Now, in the next step, let's show options. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. Show payloads. Okay. Now we have several options of pay uh, of uh, payload, but we are going to focus on uh, the reverse. This one right here. Now why? Okay. Uh, this module or this payload module in Metasploit. Uh, provides a payload-based reverse shell for a Unix system. When executed on compromised target, it will initiate a function back to the exploit listener on a target system. So if you don't do it, you will not get any information back to you from the target. Because it, uh, when you run it, it will create a bi-directional communication channel that allows the attacker to execute arbitrary commands on a compromised target and receive output back at the target system. Okay, so let's set payload and then let's say payload forward slash CMD forward slash and So the payload right now is set. Okay. Now show options. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is that we need to configure the local host, which is the computer I'm using it to attack the which is portable tree. Now uh, let's double check about the IP address. So okay, we know it's one nine two one six six. Okay, so we set local host. Eight dot seventy three dot two. Okay. Now show options again. Double check. So everything is configured. So right now you could see here's the module options. Okay. We pick this this module, the mode copy, execute. Okay. And now we have the remote host configured correctly. Uh, and then we did the side path and now for the payload options here okay we just have to configure uh, the local host ip because by default the local port is set at 4444 okay and this is the exploit target you could see this is the version that i explained previously that needs to be now we just have to say exploit enter you notice that right now it connected to FTP server. It's sending the payload commands to FTP server and now executing the payload against that. Now, basically, as a result of successful configuration, now we're able to access uh, the system and now we have an open session. So let's let's double check. RF config. Okay. And I know for sure this is the IP address of the Metasploitable tree. And then uh, ls l. And here I know right now I'm inside the, the web server. Okay. Uh, so, so you can see for yourself uh, that the exploit was done successfully. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll be notified when I release new videos. 
and you will be supporting my channel so that I can continue to create more content like this. Thank you so much again for watching.